Hey everyone, Rome here. Today I'm going to play some Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes. This is the game I, play, I talked about yesterday in the Endless Legends video. I personally think it's better, but there is one big problem. There's no multiplayer. I remember before I found out that there wasn't many multiplayer, I, try, I talked to a friend who was like, Hey, let's play this game together, it's fucking awesome. He bought it and then we found out you can't actually play multiplayer. Uh, cool thing here, you can actually make your own civilization. Uh, you have uh, six points, you can choose what empire, faction, your name, gender, what magic you are gonna have, negative, b b positives, armor, everything. You can just, you can actually get a pretty well uh, customized stuff. <laughs> Let's just keep it at this. Opponents. Actually, no, it doesn't matter how many opponents. Let's have nine. Uh, it doesn't really matter any of these either, but let's uh, take up normal and just do. Okay, play. Yeah, this is kinda like Endless Legend that I played yesterday, but it has another strong suit that, I, that it does not have. This game has a bit more customizability and control. Instead of it just being you generally telling your units what to do, you are actually fully in control of your units. Also, here you can, when you um, start out, you choose where you want to settle. Let's see, um, I actually want to settle over here because, as you can see, it has four food, three construction and two mana points but then again this one has three okay let's see let's just move over here then one thing that sucks it automatically ends the turn but whatever let's just settle here yeah it was a very good base position so uh, the good in mana and such now I can actually show you immediately what mana does the one mana points you saw there Meditation, plus one mana essence to the enchanted city. Let's cast this in here. Doesn't really do all that much, but uh, it's nice to have. No, actually, no, mana is up here. Uh, this is essence. Yes, essence. Essence is very good. This means that I get three mana from this thing. Sovereign, uh, some more growth in this town. Yes, let's cast that on there. Uh, da, da. Yeah, that's good for now. Uh, that means that this town will grow extremely fast compared to all my other towns. Uh, because I don't have any other towns at the moment. Uh, let's see, let's equip my hero with some equipment. Put some armor on. One defense plus some more dodge. Very nice. Also, your, he your units, you can actually upgrade them on the go. Uh, with this upgrade button, once you get new tech and such, you can actually upgrade. Uh, but before that, it's, I think it's here. Yes. Uh, what shall I go for first? I think what I usually went for was... Um, let's have a look. What shall I go for, actually? I'm not entirely certain myself. It's been a little while since I last played this. Yeah, let's go for this first. Yeah, let's go for that first. Construction. Uh, and just like the game we played yesterday, a very cool thing is that when you buy, when you uh, build stuff like this, they actually build out from the main city. So your city will actually grow with you. Which is another thing that I really wish that games like Civilization had, is that the cities actually grow. I do not want to fight that because I am weak. Even if there is some treasure over there, I'm probably going to die if I try to go for it. Or I could survive, to be honest, because surviving isn't that hard. Um, not a versus medium at the very least. Huh, but there, there's supposed to be a thing over their heads. I've, I've, I think I remember. Uh, whatever. 
Uh, it's probably just that I remember incorrectly. Which is fully possible because my memory is far from perfect. See, I I can train at the same time, can't I? Let's see. No, I can't. You cannot train and um, build at the same time. Oh well. Uh, domestic events. Yeah, it's just that I found this. Uh, for now, let's just move into the base. Let it build up a little bit because I need an army. Uh, or at the very least, more better upgraded people to actually do something. Ah, since this is the first town, I might want to build a base ta a town. Uh, because once you settle here, uh, I'm actually going to rush a settler just to show you guys how it's, um, how this works. Or pioneer, as it's called. Let's see, do I have any new spells I want to cast? Nope. Uh, that's another thing that's pretty cool about this game. You actually have spells and such. So you can actually cast um, uh, magic to, for example, make the land greener. You, I think there was one to make the land, um, you know, just improve the land. You can, like, lower or raise the mountains. You can... Well, there's a lot of things you can do. Okay, let's just move them all out. Uh, just start by sending her out, then the rest of the army, then attack this wolf. Yes, I am ready to battle. Let's see. Um, as you see, this is turn-based. You can actually see up here. I think it's upwards. Let's see. Yeah, they can all hit me here. So, hmm. I can. I, that, that's a cool thing about the race that I'm going. They have something called Soul Spark. Wait. Oh, there's a couple of glitches there, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave him there. Yeah, that means that he goes into armor uh, or guard mode. Yes. Also, if you have people standing next to them, they will actually help attack, increasing the damage you deal. Which is actually pretty cool. Not that I need it against these wolves, they're rather weak. <laughs> I'm dead. And now the battle is done, everyone got some XP. Redholm leveled up. I usually go commander here. Commander is nice to have in the first one. Increases the strength of your army. You will basically end up with a powerhouse army. Just an army that's so strong because... Well, instead of having your hero be super strong, you actually have your entire army be strong. Okay. Uh, don't, don't, don't stand there. <laughs> Please don't spawn right next to all the mean wolves. Uh, also, let's see. You see on this side, oh, where? Uh, okay. Uh, move this out first. Here, you see this little grid, of three by three grid. It will actually, you know, it shows your army and how many in your army you can have. Let's see uh, I'm not I don't really care too much about you know surviving and winning this round because again I'm basically just showing you guys how the game works and such. But you can I think these planes or whatever they are actually barren. You can't actually build on them. So you'll actually have to um, uh, you will actually have to basically terraform it. Uh, let's make a merchant. Get some more money. Uh, you'll, you'll have to actually terraform that this land if you want to build on it. This is magic land, so you can still build here. Uh, okay, there's no monsters trying to eat my face here. That's good. That's very good. Because I want to go... Crap. Hmm... This would be a... L you know what, I'm gonna risk it. These guys are defending something. So... Uh, actually, if I move this guy forward... Then press settle. Yes, it worked! I remembered it correctly! Let's see, let's build this to be... Scrying pool. Okay. If they attack me, I will... I'll have a... A good position. 
Because, well, oh no, it's attacking me, but I get extra units because I'm defending. I actually have defense units. Uh, let's see. First, it's these guys' turn. And you know what? This time I actually want to cast a spell. I want to cast a spell. Him. Yeah, it's not too bad damage. Ah, crap. Uh, this guy can actually die. But again, I'm not really too bothered if people die now. Because this is not really for winning, this is just for showing. Uh, this soul spark came again. All of this just to ouch. That hurt a little bit. <laughs> that almost killed him. Oh, that did actually kill him. Yep, these guys aren't exactly pushovers. Yep, that's nice to know. But I have a bow and arrow, so I'm just gonna uh, do that. Let's see, if I go here... Can I impale through there? No, I can't. Okay, okay. Uh, pass, I'll put him in defensive mode. Just start punching. Start punching! Oh, I actually dodged it. Holy shit. Yeah, you can actually dodge there as well. Which, when you, whenever you dodge, you're just like, Yes! I dodged! Oh, impale here should be pretty good. Damage to everyone. Ouch. Oh, he didn't actually die. Let's see. Move you forward there and just do a crushing bro. blow. Ah, crap, he dodged. Wow, dodged here as well. That guy is lucky as fuck. Ah, yes, he died. Down goes the ogre. And down goes that thing. <laughs> Let's move forward and stab again. Move him forward and stab again. Actually, no, not stab, oh, die. Okay. <laughs> oh, crap, I'm an idiot. I, I thought I was controlling the city militia, but yeah. I said the, the power level doesn't mean that much. For example, later on when you have an insane army, power level means shit. Also, I found out that magic-wise, life apprentice, life magic. Uh, you have another uh, perk that will actually allow you to buy magic books. That will teach you magic. But it will not teach you life magic. So put life magic on here and just learn the other ones from books. Let's see, what shall I... Army accuracy. That should be a pretty good thing, right? Increased accuracy for everyone. Ah, uh, crap, that will actually mean that I will attack. Uh, let's do this here. Do that there. I want to show you guys uh, the other towns and such. Because there are three types of towns. Uh, you already saw the town town that's over here. Let's see, build a monument. Uh, the good thing, actually, a few of those towns actually increase food over the entire kingdom. Uh, if you get them high enough. Uh, let's see, how much more do I need here now? It will be in... Okay, the... I have no, no clue how many turns. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Oh crap, no construction. It doesn't actually remind you if you're out, you don't have any constructions going. Which is kinda eh. Let's just get this scrying pool done here. Let's see, what will help me? Tower of Dominance. Um, from the amount of cities in the Empire. No, I will not build that here. I'll probably have to build it in my capital. It's probably not the smartest move to do, but... I like building up the capital a lot, because as you can see it expands and such, you get more tiles around it. So it's actually kind of cool to have like a thousand, uh, oh, not a thousand, but like 50 tile big towns. Of course these things only take four, need four per tile, so okay, maybe not 50, maybe like 10 or 15 maybe, if you put every single wonder in that town. Okay, yeah, come on, you're done. You gotta be done soon. Come on. Ah, growth is plus three. I need three more population. Yes, it should be 
this turn, I can show you guys one of the other towns. Uh, because I have town up there, I'm not going to take town, I'm going to take fortress. Uh, one level for plus one level for trained units, research, prestige, season, production, and guilders. Uh, this is basically for to building your army and defenses. Uh, while the other blue one, the research one, is for well research, which is uh, research and mana actually. So it's like you have to have like at least one of each. Let's say if this entire place is blocked off with walls around the entire place, and this is the only opening. If I set a town right here with fortress and just build up the defenses to extreme levels and expand so much that it actually goes from coast to uh, mountain, people can't go past it without actually attacking said town. So there, there is a bit of strategy on where you actually place them, but here for example where it was, was three essence, uh, or whatever they called it, I think it was essence, you, it's like, okay, three essence, fuck yeah, I'm going for that. That's fucking awesome. Uh, oh, you have to actually uh, build units separately. And you can't just build unit and construct at the same time. Ah, yes, this one is good. Getting drills will actually allow me to have unlock the sixth uh, here. Well, since I can only build uh, have f five at the moment, I think. Uh, trained units defense. Oh, yeah, this is also another cool thing about the fortresses. By building this, I get two more militias to defend. Uh, later on, when I upgrade it even more, I will be be able to get stuff like archers, I can get magical guardians. There's a lot of stuff in this game that you can get and such for defense and such. Some of them are wonders, some of them are like unique, only one in your entire empire. So you have to be a little bit careful where you place them. Although, buffing up your uh, capital to insane levels can't hurt because, well, if you lose the capital, you lose the game. So stopping yourself from losing the game can't be that dumb, right? <laughs> I'm far from a pro in this game. I just played it for a while. That's about it, really. But I haven't actually put myself down into... Uh, learning too much of the strategies and such of the game. But I did end up having a pretty insane army once. Actually, I think I still have that save, don't I? Um, yeah, I still have that save. I can actually show you how it is in late game. Let's see, Redholm. That is probably the right one, I hope. Or else the save that I'm thinking about has been deleted. Let's hope it hasn't. Let's see, loading, creating world. No, you're just loading a world, you're not creating it, but. <laughs> um, ah, there, no, no, this is not the one I was thinking about. Ah, damn it. It seems like I might have overwritten. Uh, yeah, I, I might have just made a new save. Kind of sucks because the save I had was an, it had an insane army, but oh well. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this game. It's I I really like turn-based strategy games. I also like real-time strategy games. I like FPS. I actually not like a lot of different games really, but I really like turn-based strategy because it gives you time to, you know, properly think about your moves ahead of time. It gives you time to strategize and such without having to be, you know, rushed basically. It's a really good game, and you should. Uh, and if you like turn-based strategy games, you really should try it out, uh, because well, it got my seal of approval at the very least. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> but uh, I really like the game. It kind of sucks. It doesn't have multiplayer. Kind of sucks that the turns automatically finish. Although I think you can, you could probably turn that off. Probably. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't actually looked into if you can. Yeah, I'd, I, I'll probably die from this because these wolves are actually rather strong compared to my weak units. But, hey, 
Dying is a okay for me. This is the last time I'll be playing on this save anyway, so. Impale this way. Ah. Nope, that did almost nothing. Awesome! And he dodged it. I die now. Well, we'll get to see what happens when you die in this game. Or when your hero dies. It's not the end of the world, but I did lose my entire army, though. At least I don't think it's the end of the world. And she died. Ah. Uh, yeah, she's back here. Uh, pleasure to meet you. I don't care. Uh, no, yeah, now she's just back here. It's going to take her a couple of turns to actually get back to life. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But now she should have an injury. Should have, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Details. Hmm, what, didn't she actually get an injury from that? I know that your other heroes, you can get a lot of heroes in this game. Uh, I think it's, it all depends on how, what your fame is, yeah. Plus three more fame will give me a new champion. Uh, and they, if they die, they get injuries. But it seems like your hero unit, if she dies, or he dies, you don't actually get the injury. Hmm. Okay, uh, or maybe it's like a random chance if you get one or not. Yeah, but she's going to need to sit in here for a while now and heal. Which is fine. It's fun though, but you really don't want your hero units to die. That means that she can't do anything now and will actually well, lose a lot of XP. I'm going to show you the later in here. Uh, this for example, command. Target units takes the next turn. You actually have a... You, you have, Catapult units in this game, which can attack in the three three times three square. So you can just like when your hero goes, you just tell the catapult, "You go now." And the thing is, it doesn't use up its next turn. So the catapult fires now, and then it fires again when it's actually supposed to, and it deals a ton of damage to everyone in a three by three square. It's like. There's a lot of cool things here. More army experience, army initiative. <laughs> Just getting five guildas. I don't know why we'll do that, because I would rather have more initiative than have more guildas. All units in the army get to act immediately. Wow, that must be really... That's a beefed up version of command, that's for damn sure. It's like... Everyone, get in here! Uh, and I, I really like this game, it's fun. And I think if you like this type of games, you should try it. Most definitely. Yeah, but remember, there's no multiplayer. So if you want multiplayer, it's not here. <laughs> well anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next video.